Hey guys, Isaac Wilkins here, owner of Relentless Strength Training and BeyondTheBarbell.com and today I want to talk about volume training for big athletes. And now by that I mean like big power athletes like football players, big basketball players, um, throwers like shot putters, discus guys, that type of thing, heavyweight wrestlers, or even just guys that are like me who are competing in power training strongman or even not competing at all but just are naturally bigger guys that still want to be fit, throw some weight, be strong, that type of thing. And the issue is that we have to train a little bit differently than like those little guys that are, you know, walking around all the time with like a six pack and trying to do everything they can to gain size, gain muscle. In our case, we gain muscle and size pretty easy. Um, that's just the way it is. On the other hand, we tend to pile on fat a lot faster than they do. But when it comes to training, Bigger guys tend to be able to handle much higher loads on a regular basis, but on the other hand, can't handle the volume of those loads. Like we don't have the joint issues that a lot of the little guys have when they handle weights that are 85, 90, 95% of their max. But on the other hand, our bodies take longer to recover than theirs do, both between sets and in general. So, and plus our absolute loads, tend to be much higher than theirs. So as a result, bigger guys can train heavy, but usually can't handle the volume of heavy work that the little guys can do. Because our heavier work just tends to be heavier. Um, it's pretty rare to find a big athlete that can really operate at their three rep max on squatting two or three times a week or more. Whereas a lot of times you'll find the little athletes, the little 160 pound guys that can do that because realistically for them, that's probably 315 pounds. And, well, who cares? But if you're a bigger guy, pay attention to your volume and your fatigue levels. You'll know when you start overreaching that when your weights stop making progress. When you stop building muscle mass, when you stop moving progressively heavier and heavier weights when you're in that like three rep max, one rep max, even five rep max range. And that's the case, get up there, hit a good number, and then back it down and do some rep work. You can handle more rep work, volume wise, that eight, 10 rep max, that type of stuff to really build a lot of muscle mass. So, bigger guys, be careful on the volume of the real heavy stuff, but when you do it, go ahead and get right after it. Little guys, just start lifting more. Eat some food, get bigger.